Okay, here we're just showing the torch body. Now the tips will go on here like this. Uh, and you can set these tips. Uh, they are set up so you can set them up with a, uh, tighten them up with a wrench. I'm not going to do that right now. But uh, how you set this is up to you. You know, where you want to set this to. Uh, the way I've got it here, it's going down this way. I usually don't do it that way. I usually put it like this. It seems to work better for me. You just got to work out how it works best. Then you tighten this down. Uh, what is happening in here? When I turn these two gases on, they're mixing inside here, inside this torch body. And then they come out the hole at the end of the torch tip. And what I'm uh, going to emphasize right now is these little sets like that. This is a little Victor set. Uh, Victor makes really high quality stuff, at least they have in the past. This set is okay. It's kind of a cheap set, uh, but uh, it, it, it's okay. It's, it could be better, but it's a whole Victor set. Now, one of the things I want you to look at was these tips. Now if you look close you can see this says 2W1. Okay, that's a number two tip. This one here says 1W1. Okay, that's number one tip. Number one tip, smaller number two. And this is what usually comes with these things. I don't like using this small a tip. I'm a big one on gobs of heat. So uh, the way I look at doing brazing is heat it fast and get out of there. Okay, you do a better job and you do not overheat uh, the uh, fittings. So this is probably the tip I'm going to want to use. Of course, these are Victor numbers and stuff. There are others that have the same designations, but you got to figure out which is which. So anyway, that's the torch and the tips, uh, and of course, setting up the uh, the gauge pressures. Next, we'll go into the flame. Okay, now we're going to go over a few things about lighting this uh, torch off. Now you can light it this way. If you want. Now, if you look up above, let's see if I can show this stuff up here. See all that smoke? Okay, you're gonna have little bits of flaky soot everywhere. I'm gonna shut that off, stupid thing. It's not the way to light the torch. Okay, when you light this torch you want to have both gases on but you've got to turn it the right amount and the only way to do this is just to play with them a little bit and each individual torch is a little different okay now see what I've done is and I'll do this once more I'm going to turn my gas on, I'm going to turn my oxygen on. And you see I lit it without making a whole bunch of soot. Okay, now, then I'm going to increase the gas, the acetylene flow, and then increase the oxygen. Now, if you look at this thing, this flame is not right. Look at what's wrong with this flame. There's a piece coming way out over here, and it don't look right. This tip needs to be cleaned. So let's see if we can figure out how to clean this tip. Okay, I'm going to clean this tip, and I've got a set of tip cleaners here. And it's got a little file here. That's for the end of the tip. And then there's a bunch of different sizes of tip cleaners. And... Uh, 
I'll show you how we do this. First thing I want to do when I'm going to uh, clean up this tip is I'm going to uh, use the file. Now, I don't want to be too aggressive, but you can see I've got that cleared where the tip is. By the way, this is not a hammer, a pry bar, or anything else. It's a torch tip. Don't use a damn thing to hammer on crap. All you do is ruin the silly thing. Uh, this hole in here is very precise. If it is not clean, and if it's not damaged, it'll work great. But, uh, if you damage this, if you get too aggressive with your tip cleaner, or uh, you uh, file it down too far, you're just going to ruin it. And then it's useless. So, okay, when I begin cleaning, I'm going to turn on my oxygen. I don't need a whole bunch, just a little bit. Uh, and I'm going to find the right tip cleaner. One that fits in there without a lot of resistance. Okay, I run it in there several times. Don't get aggressive with these things. Don't sit there, zooka, 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 zooka. you'll just beat the thing to death and then it's useless. You have a big old oval uh, hole in there and it won't work right. So, let's see if we've got this done. Okay, now my flame looks a little different. Looks like it's better, doesn't it? Okay, the next video will go into uh, setting the flame and getting the right uh, amount of oxygen and acetylene in there to get the flame that we need.